Um, I think sometimes I just forget what I'm saying. <laughs> um, when I was in high school, I first noticed that something was wrong when a friend pointed out that my chest was lopsided. I had one boob growing faster than the other. Um, and I went to my doctors and the doctor said, oh no, this is normal, it will grow, don't worry, it will grow eventually. But when I was getting changed for PE at school and I was looking at all the other girls and they had boobs and they were developing properly and going through puberty and I just still just had one boob. Um, and it was hard because I was starting to buy bras for the first time and you can't get bras for just one big side and one small side. So I would buy bras that fit the small side which would push my bigger boob back and it was very uncomfortable. I would try and get out of PE whenever I could because I just didn't want to go in the changing room and look around and see all these girls with fully developed breasts and I didn't have that. I do an interview like this, one of the first questions I'm asked is, well, what does your boyfriend think? What do men think? And it's always, why does it matter what men think about my body? That's always people's go-to question is, what do men think? Is it, it matters what anybody else thinks about my body other than me? There was a period of time where I saw multiple doctors and it was very stressful and it made me feel like they were just trying to get rid of me. They just wanted me to leave them alone and stop asking them, but I just really needed answers. Not because I wanted to change it or have the surgery that they kept trying to convince me to have, but because I just wanted to know for myself why my chest was different to everybody else around me. The one thing that a few of them could agree on, after years of appointments and pushing and asking for answers, was that it must be Poland syndrome. And, oh God, I can't speak today. Oh. <laughs> I just want everybody who might have pollen syndrome to know that it's okay and they aren't alone and to that they can feel and look and be confident in themselves and they can be successful you know this isn't going to stop you from finding love or finding friends or feeling good about your body you might not feel it right now but one day you will when you get older and don't listen to what the kids are saying because kids are annoying <laughs> kids are kids can be really horrible and when you get older, it does get easier. And if you want the surgery, you can have the surgery. You know, it's, it's your body, your choice.